The heart is a magnetic still point. Thinking about it as a magnetic field and also thinking about the source point, right? Just focus. A center of peace, complete stillness, and a generator of life force, pure undistorted life force. Going to create the conditions for pure undistorted life force to come right through there. Empowering the heart empowers the I am presence to express divinity through you. I will say that a million times so that it lands. <laughs> the heart attracts and receives this love light intelligence that is our natural divine state is to actually be a receiver and generator of love light intelligence to be so clear and so aligned that the, the mind is not even involved anymore. The I am presence takes over the heart intelligence. Remember the neurons? Heart cells, heart brain cells start to take over, right? We empower the heart. Mm. When we release distortions, the heart starts attracting more self-organizing divine light into your life stream. So the more clearing and all the stuff that we did in the beginning of our journey 10, 20 years ago, right? All of that clearing allowed us to create a new magnetic, allowed us to open up the qualities of the heart so that it will start attracting the I am presence and you can become a conduit of that. So the heart is your source generator and a developer of or new organic life. When we talked about mother plasma containing all the codes and the harmonics and the crystalline structures and the new light and everything that stimulated the fields and Gaia, us to create a, a brand new life form, a brand new expression of consciousness. This is what we're talking about. We're turning our hearts into a generator of that because we will be completely synchronized through that magnetic of the heart, through the chalice, the grail, right? The ever flowing fountain of that divinity that is within us. That is the secret beyond secret, the mystery beyond mysteries. And it becomes less of a mystery and you'll start feeling that earlier mention of it creates solutions. It answers all the questions of the mystery in such purity. It's quite beautiful. So com this compression, remember the compression that happens through magnetics, through heart synchronization or coherence, pulls that love light energy out of the field, out of the plasma and into qualified action. So we focus on the qualities of light, which create infinite Christ heart coherence in order to attract more of that electronic force, more of those particles of consciousness of the I am presence, go direct, right? Straight from source, straight from the presence. We create the magnetic conditions through conscious thought, feeling, action, consistent connection, our ascension practices, and focus. We change the magnetics, which changes the conditions, and we change personal and collective realities. Some basics, thoughts are very electric, right? That thought form through the brain uh, transforms to the divine intent of I am, because the heart brain is going to start being stronger, right? So thought form itself transcends from a dense, um, a lower level expression into this divine mind, right? Divine thought that actually comes through the heart and the pineal pituitary and the brain start to support that. So you get the synchronization that happens from the heart all the way through the brain and the pineal pituitary start opening up and the grounds open up to a whole new level. And that is capable of um, of actually broadcasting this electronic, if you want to call it electric, uh, expression of creator thought form, of presence thought form that actually comes through the heart and synchronizes through the brain to tell the body what to do. Emotions are magnetic. Many of you know that. So emotion of the lower levels becomes a feeling state of unity, consciousness, and source. And you will feel that so strongly as your heart magnetic gets stronger.
So this electromagnetic function may create coherence in the heart or not, right? If you're out of alignment and the thoughts are running wild and the emotions are running wild, you don't get the same payoff from ascension. You don't get the same experience. Now, yes, we have a very wide range of experiences of ascension and awakening right now. That's part of the process. But you can see the coherence starting to happen on those who are attuned and focus and drop everything into the heart and are learning how to create as responsible creators using heart intelligence, using love light intelligence of source right through the function, the electromagnetic function that's happening through this heart intelligence. So this is multidimensional. The heart field of frequency reflects all of yourself. So even though you might associate it with me and, and my heart, the heart is your multidimensional access, not to, to source, but to all of your expressions. So those of you who are seeking multidimensionality or reunion with all of your aspects or want to know more of your higher self, Christ itself, I am presence, or this galactic expression or that, get it together, right? The heart, that when you get heart intelligence activated, you're going to feel that multidimensionality unified right through the heart. And that's going to provide the mystery and the solutions and the access and everything in a very pure way, not tripping out in the astral. As, as many people do early in their journeys, no judgment, we're going to get to that. So it that zero point, this heart intelligence, reflects everything that you are across the realms and past, present, future, right? All encoded in your DNA. It's all there. But that zero point uh, collapses time space. That's why it's called zero point. Collapses all the time space and all the illusion, everything that's been created or is going to be created. And it puts you in the state of that infinite potential, and brings more love, light, infinite potential and presence into the mix. So you shift to heart-brain intelligence. And it's, it's not as difficult as you think it is. Pure focus on the I am presence within. Not up there, out there at the top of my ascension column. Right, everything through the heart now. Focus and meditate on the I am presence dwelling within the heart, increases the magnetic strength. I want to do a little sidebar right now because it ties into this water and this reflection of higher consciousness and the solar aspect of the heart center, sun and water and plasma and light and the magnetic. We can just tie it in little satsang here for a, minute, for a moment. In ancient text, water meant a tractor. And water molecules act like little magnets, right? They have a magnetic quality. Uh, and earlier we were, we were ex uh, explaining that cosmic mother and ma uh, means water, means plasma, right? It's a cosmic mother plasma. is all of that magnetic. Why right? she's got that magnetic quality. So our heart center is built on, on that cosmic mother magnetic, but there's also this beautiful, um, you know, and we witness this, if you can just feel that lightness of the heart here. Uh, we witness this in many experiments, right? Water holds this, this neutral magnetic field and just receives our intention, right? It's just giving, um, it's giving us information that or intention that we are imprinting on it through picture, through intention, through Emoto's work, through Veda's work, you know, all of those different things. Um, you know, image, image, quality, quality. Um, it's like a sacred re reflection, right? A sac sacred reflection, much like water would be acting like a mirror, right? So we're just tying in all the metaphors here. Plasma as a higher state of water births organic life. There is a unique code in the sentence, the sun walks on water, that I would love all of you to feel right now. Not 
Yeshua walking on the lake, trying to catch up with his friends in the boat. Let that go. The sun, we feel it when we see the sparkles of sunlight on water. There is a code there. There is a frequency there. There is a harmonic that reflects unity, Christ consciousness itself. This divine code is in that phrase. The sparkles of sunlight on water, the union between cosmic love light, the magnetic attractor of water, and feeling what the heart actually does with light that is able to receive, reflect, and amplify. Much like a sun, unifying with the water, unifying with the magnetic. Feel that. Feel that divine reflector of pure, infinite love light intelligence that comes through those qualities, that divine union. Mm, quite beautiful. And you can see how the heart's magnetic field holds potentials for birthing new realities, right? You're, the sun has a powerful, the sun itself in the sky, uh, Solaris, has a very powerful magnetic field a living magnetic force that allows the development of organic life. Our hearts behave like a sun. When we, we tap into our ascended consciousness, our presence consciousness, we start to learn how to create in that way, how to behave like a sun, the Christ star, the solar cosmic Christ. These are all encoded for what our heart is actually going to be capable of, is already capable of, we are just getting rid of the distortions as we walk through this. So organic stargates are magnetic attractors and generators of pure life force, energy, plasma, infinite love light, intelligence. A little note from the Star Presence presentation in February. Uh, activate eternal life at the atomic level. This happens with Ascension Mastery so that you can rebirth as a star. So those of you who really resonated with I am coming back as a star, you might be feeling the quality of your heart turning into a star gate or birthing, right? The Ascension, the burst, the solar flash that happens right through the heart center. You might be feeling that, but know that uh, Masters who have gone through the ascension process right through the physical and have ascended right through the stargate of the heart are then capable of unified creations such as stars that are actually uh, pure magnetic attractors and broadcasters of uh, eternal atoms, eternal immortal life structure light body, our DNA, uh, everything starts to uh, transcend as we ascend through these levels and through the purity and power of the infinite Christ heart of the inner sun, we actually reflect that process of how a star or a stargate would actually function. Beautiful. Take a breath. Feeling all of that. Beautiful. The skills, before we get, get into some activation, the skills of the infinite Christ heart, uh, the, our crystalline Christed skills are beautiful. The infinite Christ heart feels like freedom. The true state of self is, is radically different. We've said that before, and, uh, and you'll get hit with it many times throughout your presence activations, the actual I am presence coming into form. It feels so radically different and so free, so freeing. It's quite beautiful. That is actually one of the skills of the infinite Christ heart is not just that unification, but the feeling of freedom that infuses these realms is, is a skill set. It takes gentle unfoldment because it's radically different, dissolves old patterns and entanglements of the ego, emotion, mind, so that we can shift to heart intelligence. And that heart intelligence is another skill. It provides strength, confidence, and kindness in any situation. You honor your true heart's wisdom, and it will strengthen the flow of life force itself. 
So heart intelligence is a skill. Freedom is a skill of this infinite Christ heart. Seeing everything as source is truly a skill and also um, a beautiful state of consciousness. Why right? to, to not see separation any longer. You'll know when you get there because you won't be able to experience separation or duality any longer. We may witness experiences and external events, it is what it is, uh, without embodying any of it or any of the negative effects or influence of those lower uh, frequencies or levels of love light intelligence. Another skill is seeing and feeling the new light or plasma or the crystalline realms and the Christ field. If you have wondered why some people can see the plasma or see the field or read the field or see everyone in the unified uh, meditations, uh, this is why, right? The more you meditate on it, the more time you spend in nature, the more you sun gaze, the more you detox, the more you walk through your ascension practices with focus and dedication, faith and patience, the more you will see and feel the new realms in the Christ crystalline plasma everywhere emanating off of people, off of plants. Uh, it's quite beautiful. So another beautiful skill to pursue. Another skill is divine neutrality. Uh, the consistent qualification of your energy experience and creations without the limited energy of judgment or duality is uh, a beautiful uh, skill to embrace and use and practice and apply to your entire life stream. Everything will unfold with ease and grace if you can truly activate that skill. And it comes as a natural side effect of the infinite Christ heart. And we know the infinite Christ heart takes some focus. So feel that like the more I apply divine neutrality to, and I'm writing a book on divine neutrality that comes out later this year to walk you through that. But it's this consistent qualification of energy that is unwavering, unaffected by come over here, good, bad, right, wrong, you know, negative, positive, all of that. It's just going to uh, allow us to drop into that zero point with ease and grace. Focus is another skill. Heart focus builds the strength and power of love, light, intelligence. It expands exponentially. The more you focus on it, and you're going to find that field builds. The more you practice focus, the more focus you get, and the easier it will be to drop into focus instantly and effort effortlessly without getting uh, scattered, right? Distracted. Another beautiful quality of the infinite Christ heart is health. The body will respond to the activation of your heart and the focus on it. A desire to care for the body, to care for the mind, the emotions, and the heart as an expression of love, as an expression of source, uh, and, and respect for Gaia who gave us right this form, this form that we're working with. Um, you'll feel the, the I am presence and source so clearly that it, it just rejuvenates and regenerates the form. Now, no judgment if you've been having trouble with the form, but you are going to find there's a, a consciousness there, a conscious flow or a desire to take better care of yourself because you are now seeing the body consciousness, which is its own individual expression as an expression of source. You're going to want to take care of it just as much as you take care of everyone else and the field and Gaia and everything. Uh, another skill is uh, of the Christ heart is just being a conduit of the I am presence. It, it's so palpable and so clear this as a skill to be able to unify with the presence and just apply it to everything, wisdom, love, creative abilities, everything get affected by its divine wisdom. Freedom, uh, celebrating life 
as an opportunity to express the heart, knowing your heart is the highest intelligence of love, light, grace, compassion, all the qualities, and actually creating ascension is a skill. The ability to impact realities and realms and support the organic ascension and create positive outcomes is a skill set worth pursuing and is a, a natural uh, benefit of the infinite Christ heart. The Christ heart itself creates integrity in the heart and body fields. You're going to feel it. It creates a gradual increase in light and cells and DNA. Radiance also uh, directs or allows uh, the nervous system to receive more light, right? Nervous system is the distribution system for new light. It creates a self-organizing conduit for higher intelligence. Mm. It resolves duality, the uh, cause and effect. The presence self-corrects distortions. You've heard me talk about that. This is one of those side effects of the infinite Christ heart. Plus, it, it shifts us as to natural conduits of the collective rise in and plasma and highest outcomes, proper use of life force, and has an impact on your personal reality, right? Your own unique life stream, as well as collective outcomes. So it's worth pursuing. Before we get into the release of core distortions, I just want to tap in to the qualities that we're going to visit in the final activation, just to pull them into the field so we can hold them as we go through the dispelling of all distortions that may inhibit these qualities. So feel this harmonic blend of the 12. Close your eyes, take a breath into the heart, put all of your focus there. We always enter the temple of the Christ heart with intention. Feel the intention of infinite Christ heart access, activation, radiance, coming in with reverence, honor, and respect of the, the heart as a gateway of source, the temple which holds infinite love light intelligence, the infinite creator, right within the heart. They're walking around with source within you. And when you honor the infinite Christ heart as that sacred temple, as that sacred source point, it will shift your perspective, change your focus, and change the magnetic so that these 12 qualities can fully activate within you. Here are the qualities. Let's just say them once. I'll say it and then you repeat. I am infinite unconditional love. I am infinite compassion. I am infinite grace. I am infinite gratitude. I am infinite peace. I am infinite wisdom. I am infinite divine service. I am infinite unity. I am infinite truth. I am infinite freedom. I am infinite perfection. I am infinite creator. Now feel all of those qualities, all of those frequencies. They may look like they're opening petals on the heart, but they are creating a harmonic blend that allows the Christ heart magnetic to come into complete coherence so that you can become 
that pure radiance of source and also attract all of those qualities, pure creation into your heart center, right through zero point. Just feel that. Mm. A decree in this now. Infinite Christ heart, divine diamond solar heart center overflow with divine presence, source anointed power of divine love light. I am in the infinite supply of radiance. All the qualities of the infinite Christ heart, the pure magnetic expression of my I am presence, calling forth mm, infinite love-like qualities, radiance, pure Christ light, shine into all levels, layers, dimensions, densities, realms, and realities from first separation until now in perfect divine union with source love light intelligence and the I am presence. Come, come, come. Beautiful. Just feeling that source point within. And hold that there. I guess the challenge is, right, the objective, the intention, is to hold that source point within the heart, as well as witness and experience and create and unfold all that source has to offer for us and all the different expressions of our unique frequency right through the heart, holding that as we create and interact and do other things, right? And the more that you tap into that, the easier it is to maintain that heart focus, that natural magnetic that happens through those qualities of the heart 